Okay, so chapter six talks about your minute ventilation needs. Um, we can do this numerous ways. We could use our BSA, which for males, uh, your minute ventilation estimation would be your BSA times four. And for females, your minute ventilation estimation would be your BSA times 3.5. <clears throat> okay, so say we have a female with a BSA of 2. The equivalent to 2. That would mean that our estimated minute ventilation would be 2 times 3.5, which is equivalent to 7 liters per minute. Okay, this is our estimated minute ventilation need for this female. Say a doctor orders, uh, say that we would like a tidal volume of 500 and a rate of 12. We should know by now that our minute ventilation equals our rate times our tidal volume. So that's what we would do here. We'll do, we'll transcribe that to liters. So 0.5 liters times 12. And that should give us a minute ventilation of six liters per minute. Now there is a discrepancy between these two. And as a respiratory therapist, we could potentially recommend increasing either the tidal volume or the rate depending on the ideal body weight of the, the female. So let's say, let's say she is, I don't know, let's say she's me and she is five feet six inches. <clears throat> so we would take that, convert it to inches, which is gonna be 66. And in order to find out her ideal tidal volume, we're going to use the ideal body weight calculation. Um, in the book, it's a little bit different, but for us, we're gonna use the regular 66 minus 60 times 2.3 plus 45.5. Use my handy dandy calculator here. If I could turn it on. So 66 minus 66 times 2.3, 13.8 plus 45.5 for a female. That's going to give us 59.3, and we're going to multiply that. Our range is, as you know, 6 to 8 milliliters per kilogram. That gives us our recommended tidal volume. So let's multiply this by six. So the range is going to be 355.8 to 474.4. So say this is our patient, and these are our recommended tidal volumes per ideal body weight. So we are already above our upper limit here. Um, so I wouldn't go up on that tidal volume, but we could potentially go up on that rate maybe to 14, and then that would increase our minute ventilation to get closer to that recommended 7.0 liters per minute.